going live. We are live. But uh, the last time we were in this pub, you sang. You sang to me the yeah. last time we were in this pub. I'm not going to sing. Right. <laughs> this, is a, this is a pub live. Cheers. Cheers. Anyone who watches my channel or my, must just think all I do is drink. Really, I, let me tell you, um, I drink very little unless it's a special occasion like when Mr. Frags to Riches comes to town. Nice. Mustafa Basim. Hey, good evening. How are you doing? I'm a bad influence on you, evidently. Mm. We're drinking the best beer in the world here, guys. It's uh, Guzzler. We're in the last drop in in uh, York. You should, you, if you come to York, you've got to visit. Is this the only place Guzzler. you can get a Guzzler? There's three more pubs in York. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's not, not every pub. So Guzzler is a York speciality, mm -hmm. is it? Nice. Okay. I have seen it in other pubs around the country. Um, but um, primarily in, in York, yeah. So how's everyone doing? Got a little unplanned live video. Um, Steve has found himself in York again for work. Well, that, that's what he says. He's <laughs> yeah. trying to grow his YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Um, to, uh, oh, I need I need a few more subscribers. Um, oh, I think I'll go. I think I'll go, tell Chris Hi, I'm working Chris. in York. Yeah. yeah. Um, Just driven four hours to come and see. Yeah, no worries. So uh, I just got back from Milan. I've just been to uh, Essence. So um, jet set. So jet I know, set, man. mate. I know. Well, you know, it's got to be done. Yeah, I've just come back from uh, Lincoln. I was in today. Oh, I'd love to go to Lincoln. Sorry, mate. I've top trumped you there, but there you go. Yeah. yeah. Um, so let's see who's joining in. We'll let a few people join. Fourteen people coming in. That's great. We'll let a few people join in. What's your sentence? Scent of the day. Oh, what did, oh, I'm wearing. I'm wearing what we're testing. It's, oh. it's the uh, Renier uh, Delirious, the new, the new release from Renier. I met Renier in Assange. He uh, very kindly uh, gave me a bottle and uh, nice. uh, some samples to share amongst my friends. So I am going to. They weren't um, available, so you thought you were just using my me instead. <laughs> yeah. Um, my, my, my friends uh, aren't here, so I'll, I'll, I'll give them to Stephen instead. Yeah, yeah. Matt from Pocket Sense is, uh, hey, is, is just in. So, right, hey, Matt, Matt. Uh, can everyone hear us okay? We've, we've, uh, we've been trekking through York all night trying to find a place that doesn't have music to infringe on copyright. Mm. So, um, we, we've, had to, we've had to get through, we've had to sink a few pints to get, <laughs> to get to this spot, haven't we? So, <laughs> every time we try a pub, yeah. we have to do a pint, and then we're like, we can't really film here. So, yeah. like, after a few pubs, um, mildly, um, inebriated, in, yeah, yeah, I'm mildly tipsy. I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. So, let us all know what you're wearing. Um, let us know this. This is going to be, um, hey, Comforting Sense. I mean, uh, Comforting Sense, great, great supporter. Um, I, Comforting Sense, do you mind revealing your name? Because I, I feel like you support so much. I really want to refer to you yeah. by, by name. Um, I want to name and fame instead of name and shame. Oh, nice. Um, so, so if you feel comfortable, do let us know your name. If if you don't, it's fine. I can call you Comforting Sense. But you're always here, so thank you. Thank you very much. Hope everyone's having a good um, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday evening. Thursday. Uh, we are. Tracy. Tracy. Okay, Tracy, yeah. thank you. Thanks for joining in. Um, please show him kisses rain, bro. Hey, it's planned. It's there. It's George ready. is in the house as well. So, hey, we're gonna we're gonna go through Renier's two newest releases, and then I could not let this man go without um, introducing him to Kisses Rain. Before the video, yeah. Chris said this, and I said, "Oh, yeah, I know George bums this one." <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he did. Does. He did. <laughs> anyway, he yes, did. I just know. He actually said George so, bums bums kisses yeah. rain. Yeah, uh, George doesn't actually know me, so I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine with me saying that. But yeah, I know that you're a big fan, so I'm looking forward to trying this. So, How many um, bottles of frag do I have? Um, I've honestly not counted. I think somewhere in the region of five thousand. No, <laughs> um, uh, maybe foot. Full bottles, maybe 150, 100, 150, something like that. I don't know. Dang. And a hell, hell of a lot of samples. Mm, yeah. Um, it's, yeah, it's fair enough. Though. It's funny, it's all relative because I think I, I've not counted my phrases. I think I've got like yeah. uh, 60, 70 bottles, which mm. to an average Joe is like a lot. They're like, fuck in it. But in the fragrance, oh, yeah. it's like, oh, yeah. you only got 60 bottles. I mean, let's be honest, <laughs> most people have maybe two, two, three bottles of fragrance. Yeah. 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 Someone earlier asked if we're wearing pants. Um, the answer is no. And just to prove it. <laughs> oh, joking, I am wearing pants. One eye trouser snake points up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'm not. <sighs> yeah, I'm not standing up. So, um, I, obviously, George is here. We know, we know George is um, a fan of Renier's perfumes. Yes. And, I, I, you know, there was, there was a lot of things I could have brought out tonight for Steve to smell, but I, I feel like... I feel like Steve's You're on the, trying to on get the me into niche, cusp of getting yeah. into, into niche. Um, We're trying. I'm yeah. resisting. And Mainly because I'm a stingy bastard. But well, yeah, I, I, feel, trying. I feel you'll enjoy some, some of Renier's. Oh, so totally, we've, we've, totally. Got, we've got samples of two, Renier's two latest here. Um, I have uh, Renier very kindly in essence gave me um, a, a gift, which is a bottle of Delirious. And uh, he's given me several samples of uh, the other new release, which is called Bahik. And I, I have, he gave me lots of samples so I can share them out. And I'm, I'm sharing uh, a few of these samples with, with Steve. And I'm not just giving him one of these Dabba samples, I'm giving him two of each so he can actually go home. And after these first uh, impressions today, he can go home and, and give them a good few wearings. And then start saving up to buy them, yeah. Yeah. Um, so a bottle, a 50ml bottle of a Renier fragrance, of, of these new ones anyway, I believe goes for around 217 euros when I oh. checked today. So, but they're extra and they're high quality. So Steve is going gonna, is gonna to try uh, Delirious first. This is the one I have a bottle of. This is my scent of the evening. Okay. Um, I wore earlier today, um, I wore uh, Fragrance de Bois. Um, they're... Uh, Oud Jean Intense, which is amazing. I've since had a shower, so I'm wearing another fragrance. Um, you showered for me, especially. Of course, mate. Touched. Of course. Yeah. That's, that's bromance, though. Cheap as chips. <laughs> yeah. Not quite as cheap as pocket scents, but yeah, okay. not far off. Right, so here we go. So. Oh, this is my arm here, and you can't see it. So yeah. You, you can smell this. You don't have to give us an opinion within the first few seconds. You, you, you know, we can talk and you can let it, you can let it settle down a little bit. I'm going to do a few little swipes on here. I feel, you know, with these dabbers, I just feel, I don't really know. I can smell it already. How many times to, to dab. When you're dabbing, how many times do you dab? Does anyone know? Wasn't it the dabber that lured you into Beneath that? Beneath the towel. Great. Hey, Greggy, how are you doing? Hey. Um, Greggy, right. have you smelt the, um, the Raniers yet? Any of, any of Raniers. Oh, I think that will do for that. For that. So, the, this, so this is um, uh, called Delirious. And as you're uh, familiarising yourself with that, I'll explain a little bit about what um, Renier told me. Um, I think you'd really enjoy them, Greg. I think you'd really, uh, yeah, you'd really like them. So Renier is, um, his home country is Cuba. And his, his first line of fragrances were inspired by his own paintings. So he, um, he, he, he's an artist and after finishing his paintings, he decided to create fragrances that were the uh, olfactory representation of, of those paintings. Wow. These are different. These are inspired by his, um, his country. So Delirious is inspired by the, the land that the, um, the Indians of Cuba um, used, to, used to occupy. So the foliage, the, the food, um, the earth, um, how they would live on the land. So that, from, from what Renier told me when I was in Essence last week, that is um, the inspiration behind Delirious. Um, first, first impressions, niche fragrance, so just not talk, a niche head. What do you think? Just talking about Cuba, though, you don't realise that I, I used to teach Cuban style salsa. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a okay. dancer. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? There you go. Okay. It's we really need, quite strong. We need to see some dancing uh, yeah, yeah, we'll in a video at some point. Hello, Gabriel, Ray, Salas, Shave, Kasime, thank you. Yeah, Greggy is definitely an OG. Yeah, Greggy. So, OG. sorry, I interrupted no, you. No, no, it's fine. Really quite strong. Straight yep. away, it's just from there, before I even lift it up, you can smell it. Yep. Very kind of fresh, there's some sort of green florals in there Absolutely. somewhere. Absolutely, definitely top. green, yep. But, it's not... I'm going to... Still, gonna still just got like some... It. Obviously there's some freshness to the greenery, but it's... It's got something else going in this, like... It's, it's really nice. Yeah. When would you wear that? When would you wear it? On, on, a, on a night when I'm meeting frags to riches in a pub. <laughs> That's true. That, you literally that, chose yeah. to wear that for yeah. me. I did. I wore that tonight. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it's a very, really lovely fresh. It's a great springtime yeah. scent. 
you could wear I it. I said exactly the same thing with Renier. Uh, I said perfect spring slams. I think it's good. within the spring. It's got plenty of versatility. With, versatility within the occasion. I think you could wear that in the office. It's the stylish Iris man. Hey, hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm not even going to tell. I don't, I don't know. Actually, I'm talking, yeah, actually. I can't. So, uh, to, to answer your question, for me, it, it's pretty versatile. Yeah. I could I could wear this in the day and I could wear this in the evening. I think it's dress up or dress down. I was going to say that you could dress yeah, it up or down. Absolutely. You could wear that. It's it's either way. Like in a pub garden in the spring with sun shining, or you yeah. could wear that in an office with a suit. Yeah. Yeah, it's got plenty of versatility to it. And I think it's entirely unisex. Yeah. Yeah. So why I, why I pick these fragrances is that because Steve is. I'm going to say, more often than not, you, the fragrances you own are designer, but I think a lot oh, totally, of, totally, a lot of totally fragrances design. that you've mentioned in your channel, um, like things from Armaf, they can be sometimes clones of niche anyway, so he's, he's not completely alien to well, niche fragrances. When I originally set up my channel, it was, it was all about, it was sort of more targeted towards affordable, affordable. fragrances, yeah. which obviously niche don't fall into. So yeah, yeah it's very designer heavy, and there are yeah. some clones on there. Um, so yeah, totally. Um, I've literally I did a video the other week, which was my first niche, which yeah. was by, Byron. Yeah. Uh, the Chronic. Um, so yes, Chris is trying to lure me down that rabbit hole. You literally used that phrase, I think, down the rabbit hole. But yeah, I mean, obviously, it goes without saying. You can smell the quality. There's, yeah. there's, you know, not synthetic in the slightest. Very natural. You know, it's smell very it. yeah, Big, totally bold natural. smell. Um, I I get like you say. And I, I've only worn this a couple of times. I first only smelled this a few days ago in uh, Milan. There's a greenness in the opening, and it's underpinned with a fruitiness as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. And I, and so I, I kept feel... thinking it's sort of floral, but there is. Yeah, no, Some there's. Sort of sweet yeah, there, fruit no, in there. Do you know what the fruit is? Or? Um, I, I think this grapefruit. I think it's grapefruit. But it's not a sharp, it's not a tart, no, sharp no, no, citrus no, no. at all. It's very smooth, and you've got the florals. And then there's, up, again, underneath all that, there's a creaminess. Yeah. Not, I think maybe there's some sandalwood and, and guyot wood in this, but I would say, I would describe this as green, fruity, and creamy, with depth, and very potent. It's very, very yeah. potent. Um, I often, as a designer, affordable head... Um, I often find that just uh, niche ones are so smooth they almost appear creamy yeah. to me just chili from the oh, purely from the point. smoothness yeah. of it because they're so well blended and the quality yeah. is there it's almost get like not like a big vanilla creaminess but just a just a so a rounded full, yeah. a full bodied yeah. richness yeah yeah I agree with you um, yes I did I, I was lucky enough to, to pick up um, lots of great stuff from Essence um I think maybe a similar amount to, to, to Timmy. Uh, and that wasn't asking for it. That was um, companies uh, saying, you, you know, we would sample and then they would uh, offer us fragrances. And uh, they said, I, we know you, know, you're kind of a big deal. Yeah. Here's a bottle. <laughs> hey, fragrance journey. Um, so, yeah, so, so, that, so particularly on the two press days and particularly the final hours of the last day when they've got press bottles that they haven't used or testers that they don't necessarily want want to take home and um, they, they would you know offer offer you bottles and companies have bottles set aside for for press it's marketing uh, it's, 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 it's part of their marketing strategy yeah yeah they 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 write that off and as we discussed it's direct marketing because yeah. it's going to you and fragrance viewers and people that are well into fragrances it's the perfect direct marketing campaign so, yeah, and I wasn't walking around begging for, for fragrances. If someone wanted to give me samples, I accepted samples. If someone wanted to give me a bottle, um, I accepted the bottle. But you've got to be careful because you, f you feel obliged to have to do reviews on these bottles. And if you come away with too many, then, you know, that's a lot of content. So there's, there is that to, to bear in mind as well. So we can come back to that. But that's the first impressions well, of... I mean, you've bought it more. What would you yeah. give it out of 10? Out of 10? Put you on the spot. I would give it a nine. I'm, I'm sensing that it's a beast performer. I, it's a beast performer. It's x. It's x straight. So it's not going to be 
um, big projection. beast projection, but, but it lasts but, forever. But about maybe two two foot off the skin for quite a long time. It, it's a good. It's a great projector. And I don't. I can't. I can't. I can't show you the bottle because we we're, we're using my phone. Um, fragmental, you're alive. Yeah, it is. A, it is a cool pub. You know, we're the only ones in this pub right now. They're, they're literally oh, keeping it open for us. Yeah, it closes at eleven. Um, we're going to go with the second. Is this kind of me again? We're going to we're going to do it on both of us. Okay. So this is called a Behik or Behike. This is the second new release. You can you can find these on Renier's website. They're up on the website right now. But they're the newest releases. So let's go. Let's go up there. Don't smell yet. I'm going to give you a few more dabs. I think I can get it already. So again, this is inspired by the uh, about uh, Cuba, the, the land and the earth. Uh, so see see what you can get from that. Let me just give it a wave. I'll, I'll just put that. Why did I put, put that there? Let's put that next to the watch. Oh, wow. It's very different. Caught me off guard. Yeah. And by the way, Steve, does he's not had a heads up on notes. In the, he doesn't know no. notes in, in any of these fragrances. Straight away, it's kind of darker than the other one. It's kind of richer. Yeah, to me, hundred percent. But we're having a smashing is, time. Or someone is back there. Anyway. But there is some greenness to it. But yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot sort of darker and richer. It's certainly mm -hmm. more of a autumn, fall, wintry. Yeah. Scent. Yeah, absolutely. If, if the other one was a, a perfect springtime scent, this is definitely a, an autumn, wintry scent. It's um, got some familiarity. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. That'll be the cannabis. <laughs> okay. Naughty boy. I'm trying to... oh. Just had a message from the wife asking if uh, the dog's been fed. <laughs> <laughs> Just rolling over. Uh, yeah. The answer is yes, but I can't. I can't tell her of that. Um, I'm sure she's watching, mate. She's watching all your content. Nailed. <laughs> Something familiar. <laughs> That'll be the cannabis. <laughs> Busted. Yeah. So yeah, it's. I don't like it as much. Ah, okay, okay. Do you prefer it? Well, I, it's it's a little more complex. It is, um, and there's something. Let it settle, let it settle a little bit as well. But I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's bad. No, no. I this... I, I think definitely um, delirious is more the instant crowd pleaser. Bahik yeah. is more the the complex, slightly more challenging. Where is that also unisex? But, yeah, 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 absolutely. They're all they're all unisex. Again, it's an X straight. There's something more. This is inspired there's, there's by the, kind the of sharpness the... to it. That yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, that I'm, I don't enjoy as okay. much as the last one. The last I, one I think natural. This so. Is... So from what I can remember, in the in the top of this, there's tobacco leaf, and in the base, there's tobacco. But the tobacco, it, so this, so Bahik is based on the witch doctors of the tribes, of the Indian tribes that used to um, live in Cuba. And the tobacco in the base is not based on a sweet resinous pipe tobacco. It's based on the tobacco that this uh, shaman or witch doctor would, would use. So I think it's quite a uh, strong, pungent, potent, Very smoky yeah. tobacco. Yeah. Um, yeah, kind of mixed in with that sort of strong greenness. Yeah, it's kind of it's it's a it's a it's bolder. Definitely. Yeah, would you agree with that? Yeah, I think you'd need to be a bit more considerate where you're wearing that. It's not yeah. as versatile as the other one. Yes, I think Bahik is is probably more of a, a, a dressed up formal scent. I think yeah. with where, where um, delirious, you could you could dress up, dress down. It had that versatility. Um, I think where Bahik. We'll, uh, look, we've got a word to your mother. Thanks, Josh. Hey. <laughs> I think where Bahik would excel is for those occasions when you want to smell more uh, artisanal and you want to smell bolder and make more of a statement with a scent that no one else is going to be wearing. It's kind of like, like you say, it's a smarter dressed up. Yeah. It's like a sales director in a meeting yeah, busting balls. Yeah, it's kind of like a quite a strong, taking on prisons, dominant yeah. kind of alpha. Not to say that it's really manly because it's not because it is unisex, but it's because it, it's so strong and yeah, 
it's that it promotes that character. Like you say, you're yeah. not. It's not a wallflower reserved yeah. behind. You know, nobody look at me, give me attention. It's not that. So so compared to a lot of the designer sense, and I think you mostly own designer sense. So totally, go yeah, yeah, go. There's, there's no I mean, doubt about it. you know. We're going deep into niche with these two fragrances, so it's from one extreme to the other for Steve. So I'm just interested to, to see what you think. And sometimes it can be, when, when you go deep into niche, it, it can be, oh God, I sound really snobby here, but it, it can be a little- um, Careful. <laughs> uh, difficult to assimilate. It can, it can be difficult to, to well, think, they're, they're okay, what's going more, on there? They're and, a lot more complex, you know, aren't they? Bolder, yeah. They're more a complex, lot more complex. Typically, more natural. Typically, uh, designers are more yeah. synthetic. They're a bit more simple in their, you know, it might be a strong vanilla, it might be strong leather. It, yeah. they're a lot, normally, there's like a lead note that's more prominent, yeah. and there's other ones that kind of be around. Yeah. Where niche, the, I've got very limited experience, but they typically seem to be obviously so well blended there's there's often not really standout notes it's mm-hmm. kind of it's a package yeah and they're typically a lot more complex yeah. and obviously a lot more natural and a lot less synthetic more more natural um limited runs so less bottles produced than with designer they're less mass marketed and um the price reflects that the the, the limited call um the amount of resources of, of materials that are required to to, to put into niche fragrances uh, in particular natural materials like these they're, they're, there's limited resources so that is I, I feel where the price comes from in this as as I say to reiterate the price 217 euros for 50 mil of these but they are x straight. Greg's asked where we are we're in a pub called the last drop in we're in York drinking my favorite beer the guzzler um, George did did say about um, that last fragrance that he finds it dark and mysterious totally agree George yeah, uh, it did, does have no, a dark, no. mysterious. Uh, on the dry down, for me, it, it eases off. It settles that sharpness goes and it settles down a little bit and becomes a little a little smoother. Yeah, I have to so. say. Never as light as the first one, though. It's not. I would. I think the first one is more unisex. I think they're both unisex, but the first Joe one. Oh, sent unisex. me. Hey, hey Joe. Hey, thanks Joe. for joining, Joe. I mean, that was one of the highlights of Essence for me was uh, seeing Joe. I've done some collabs with Joe and we've talked a lot. He's been a great advisor and uh, um, so knowledgeable about fragrances. It was nice uh, that it was good, seeing good to you, see. seeing all your kind yeah. of colleagues and peers. You, you could see you were buzzing off of it. And it was absolutely, nice to yeah, see. absolutely. Whoever I met, I was, I was buzzing off at whoever I met. Yeah, Greggy, uh, it's a great, York's a great city. I feel very, I'm very pleased. Pri- Privileged, privileged, very privileged. To, so you to, are to a proud Lancaster. I am a Lanc- I'm not a Yorkshire boy. I'm a Lancastrian. He reminded me. Yeah, of I that. only ended up here. Um, before we go, pub's closing in ten minutes. I'm going to introduce Steve to Kisses Rain because I this one gets a lot of love. Um, I feel under pressure now. If you're not familiar with this fragrance, please can I direct you to uh, the YouTube channel? Someone who's in this room right now. Uh, someone who I met for the first time at Essence, although I felt like we'd known each other for a long time. I want to give a shout out to George from The Fragrance Apprentice. I adore his channel. Very cinematic and uh, one of the most artistic uh, fragrance videos you will ever set your eyes upon is on George's channel. And it is his review of Kisses Rain. He's also a great dancer. He 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 doesn't mean MJ. And he is above the law as well. He's... (laughs) So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think where you can spray this. So please go and check out George's uh, channel, The Fragrance Apprentice. Um, I think that's clear. Because uh, you'll never see a video like his video on Kisses Rain. Phenomenal dancer. You're right, Flora Notes. Phenomenal dancer. Right, we're going in? Yeah. So here we go. I think that's clear. Kisses Rain. I'm going to give you a few. I feel under pressure now. If you get, no, if you know, all, uh, always honesty, please. If, you, if it's not for you, you say. You just say. That's fine. Um, I actually, before I smell this, I do love a fragrance that George also loves, which was uh, Bulgari Man Extreme. Oh. He praised that, and I um, got that after watching the video, and it is an absolute banger from a, the designer world. Right, let's give this yeah. a go. Again, it's just so well blended, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to have to put a bit of Kisses Rain on as, as well. 
Question sent of the day. I'm uh, Renier um, Delirious, which is what we've just been testing. That's my scent. Well, my second scent of the day. Or Fragrance de Bois um, Ujion Intense this morning. Is there tobacco in this then? It smells like it, doesn't it? I can't remember. It does smell like there's a resinous kind of pipe tobacco. I don't think so. George is like screaming at the screen right now. Yeah, man. George, if you, is, is there tobacco in this, George? Fill everybody in. You know, now you've, now you've said that. Yeah, see what I mean? It definitely smells. Yeah, there's definitely a pure Havan type tobacco, uh, tobacco scent in that. That's not to me. Yeah. Interesting. I think there's some almond in here. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah. But um, it's the almond, because I'm not a fan of almond, but it's not that strong and prominent. It's almost just adds some smoothness underneath. It is a proper banger, George. You're right. Um, so we've got bergamot oud, cardamom rose, oud, almond, cedarwood, coffee, heliotrope, amber, musk, patchouli, vanilla, and uh, Cuban telu balsam. So no... No tobacco in here. I think some of those notes in there with the combining oud, to, coffee, yeah. and it's probably giving yeah. that effect, isn't it? Definitely, definitely has a cherry pipe tobacco scent to it. It's gorgeous. It's, I mean, it's lovely. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. It doesn't, I, it doesn't I feel, smell as no, strong knowing, as Knowing those, what though. you like, I feel like you that would prefer this to the other two. Yeah, no, you're right. You're totally and, right. And so do I. Because if I'm honest, I think... I don't think, I can't remember what the names are. It's Oud and Almond. It's not tobacco, it's Oud and Almond. Yeah, definitely. Now Steve's mentioned it, I definitely get a tobacco vibe off it though. Of the ones we tried, the first one I would I would probably wear, yeah. like, because it's a nice ring. I don't think I would wear the second one. Yeah. That one I would totally wear. Yeah. Kisses Rain is, is a very, very easy wear. Oh, it's definitely. really nice. Really good. Isn't it a beauty? No, fair play. You know what? George should upgrade himself from an apprentice to a, a graduate. A master. Yeah. yeah. And I think now, Before now you've smelled it, and I'm, and I am. Um, there's, there's plenty left in this dabber, and I'm giving this right here, right now to Steve, so he can take that home and he can, he can. Dab After that the video, I'd be like, "Give me that back, dickhead! Come here!" <laughs> so, not at all. Not at all. No, that is lovely. Yeah. No fair play. So that George Blake knows what he's talking about. I, what I would like you to do, um, and this is tying in with George again. Go home, put that on again tomorrow or okay. whenever. Yeah. Have it on your hand and watch uh, George's video whilst you're wearing it. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good chat. I've not watched, I have seen George's video, yeah. that, but not for a long time, so yeah. I literally can't remember. Um, we, we, we mustn't forget to mention that um, Nigel from Two Cents with has always also done a really good video on Kisses Rain, so do tune into that one as well because yeah, he feels very is, passionate. That is really good. It's it is yeah. really smooth. Yeah. It's, it's more manly than the others, probably from that sort okay. of moody tobacco. Yeah. Yep. But, again, there's no, though you pick up all the, the individual notes, there's nothing that's like stand out. No, this it's smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's just smooth. rounded and it all, it's a, again, it's a package. Yeah. That's what you get with an Asia package. You don't get like a leather scent topped up with some citrus or whatever. Yeah. You get a package with a pretty bow on it. You do? Yeah. Yeah. And this, I mean, there's so, there's that, so, that, that is the painting that it's inspired by. There's so many elements to that. Which is, first impressions doesn't give it justice. That, that is Renier's, uh, I, I, yeah, I think, I think that's the, the Renier's painting that it's inspired by. It doesn't seem as strong as the others, but it might be that you've just not put as much on. It's not as potent. Mm. It's, it is a little lighter, but it is very, it's very smooth. Very nice, very, very nice. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Thank you. There you go. That's uh, Steve's. Steve's dive into niche. I, I suspect it won't be the last niche review. He's sort of. Been right, I'm, uh, I'm resisting the urge. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, if I do it, if I review a fragrance that's like forty pounds, people are like, oh, do do the cheap ones. <laughs> like, if I do a niche, yeah. they fall over. I need to yeah. drink up. The pub. yeah, pub's yeah. closing in five minutes, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, frags to niches. <laughs> Might have to change, you know. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go in a couple of minutes. If anyone's got any questions, then feel free to fire those out, and we'll in the two minutes we have left, we'll do our best to answer them. So, um, well, and, and unless anyone's got any more questions, then. Um, 
Yep. Uh, Marcus, cheers. Good to see you. Thanks for joining in. Appreciate Thank that. You. Cheers for joining me, guys. Uh, by the way, plenty, plenty more restaurants content to come from me. I filmed quite a bit while I was out there. So, uh, yeah, get ready for that to drop. There is a, a, a really, sorry. sorry no, 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 go, go, go. There's a, a video I was really proud of that I filmed uh, the day I arrived in Milan. Couldn't quite believe it happened, but it did. Uh, so uh, that will be released on Sunday this week. Uh, and it was something that was pretty special and pretty amazing for me. So, um, yeah, tune into that um, Sunday morning if you can. Um, also, we filmed a vid before we did this of the first impressions of a designer scent. I won't say what it is. Um, and that'll go out on my channel on Monday, I suspect, yeah. if I get my ice and gear and do the editing. Um, and it's quite a nice, short, fun video. It's good to get Kristen. And it's a 2019 release, so there might be some relevance. It's quite yeah. a nice quick fun little video so you look out for that yeah Monday. absolutely um, Floating Man just uh, can we score that yeah did you find Milan better than expected in terms of finding really creative perfume houses or was it a little underwhelming um, o overwhelming but sounds of it it's like the whole experience of, of Essence was overwhelming uh, in terms of meeting people and I, I did smell some amazing mm. fragrances um, in terms of being underwhelmed i mean it, it's all a matter of perspective and it's all it's all relative if someone went to essence and they were you know predominantly used to designer scents I mean, then have, yes yeah i'd have been every, like stew a little in that situation yeah, yeah, i would have yeah. been like stew a little. every booth you would have yeah. been overwhelmed by, by creativity yeah, and, totally. and quality i've done a lot of sniffing and i've smelled a lot of high quality niche fragrances and oud fragrances and uh, you know I, I feel like at this stage I've, I may yet be surprised in the future I feel like I've smelled as complex as, as fragrances get and there's only so much you, you can do with, with scent and whilst there was some fantastic juice over there I, I did really smell some amazing scents and scents that I, I really liked there was probably only about 5% where I thought that I've never smelled that before. That is completely unique. And I feel like even, even though a brand isn't actively trying to clone another scent, it just happens in, in the same way that a song can remind you of another song because there's only so many chords, there's only so many notes in, in music that one song is inevitably go going to remind you of another song. So yes, there is cloning going on, not with clone companies, but between niche companies. I, I think sometimes they're that close, you think, how can it be any other way? But sometimes they smell very similar, and I think it is an accident. I think there is a certain, um, there's a certain way that, that that perfumes are constructed. I don't, I don't know very much about how they're constructed, but I feel, you know, there's fixatives and there's base notes and there's notes that work better in the heart and notes like citruses that maybe work better as, as, as top notes. And if people are sticking to, to those tried and tested ways of, of formulating compositions, you're going to end up with fragrances that, that remind you of others and smell similar to others. So I, I smelt some amazing things but in terms of being blown away by new things, I would say no, but that's just me. And I think other people who went to Essence very well could have been. So you're saying the only thing that blew you away was George's dancing? Is that that, by far and away, that was the thing that blew me away the most. I mean, we walked past this grid blowing air out of it and without a second's thought, George was on there and he was throwing out his MJ shapes. And then- um, snap one set, rhythm is a dancer. It's you know he's got it in and him. And so is George. Yeah, right. We we <laughs> the pub the pub's closing, so we're going to sign off. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you. Um, it's uh, been a pleasure to to have you all uh, join us here in York. We're going to finish our pints, get kicked out, and go home. So we will. How do we end this? <laughs> I the, the, I'll just, I'll just cut that cross up there. So thanks for everyone for joining in and um, we'll see you for the next live. Good night, everybody.